Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. In this tutorial, we will learn about the KY027 module, what is a mercury switch and we will build a simple project using the KY027 module and an Arduino. The mercury tilt switch is the core sensor component in this module. When the module is tilted, the mercury inside the glass tube moves and closes the circuit, which can be detected as a digital signal high or low by the microcontroller. In simple words, this KY027 is a tilt switch. When the module is tilted, the mercury switch closes or opens based on its angle and when it is held straight, the mercury switch changes to the opposite position. This module also has an LED which has no direct connection with this mercury switch. This LED can be controlled externally to display the state of the mercury switch. This module is called magic cup sensor but it really does not have any magic in it. We can implement an effect of a cup by using the tilt sensor that when the module is tilted the LED on the module can fade out and when the module is straight the LED will again fade in. If we use two of these modules, we can give the effect of emptying and filling a cup like one cup is filling and another cup is emptying. That is why this module is called a magic cup sensor. So first let us have a look at the pin out diagram. The first pin or the G pin is the ground pin where we give the negative power supply. The second pin or the plus pin is the VCC pin where we give the positive power supply or 5 volt. The third pin is the S pin or switch pin which is the output of this tilt switch or the mercury switch. And the fourth pin or the L pin is the anode pin or the positive leg of the LED which helps to control the LED from outside or using a microcontroller. If we look at the schematic of this module, we can see the LED is connected to the common ground of the project and the positive side of the LED is taken from outside. The output switch is pulled high by the 10K pull up resistance and when this mercury switch closes, this output goes to low. So this is an active low module. Now if we take an example use case of this KY027 is uh, in a magic cup or similar interactive project when the cup is tilted or lifted the tilt switch detects the change in the orientation this can trigger an LED to light up or change the color creating a magical effect. This module has a limitation of angle the detection is limited to certain tilt angles which may not be suitable for all applications and there is a word of caution that this module contains mercury which is hazardous and needs careful handling. So in simple words this KY027 is a tilt switch when we tilt the mercury switch it send an high or low output based on the position of this mercury blob and when we put it back to its previous position it changes its output state. Now we will look at the circuit diagram of this module using an Arduino. The connection with an Arduino is very simple. We have connected the G pin and the plus pin with the ground pin and the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. The S pin is connected to the digital I.O. pin 8 of the Arduino and the L pin has been connected with the digital I.O. pin 9 of the Arduino which is also a PWM pin so that we can fade in or fade out the LED. Now using this circuit we will see two projects. One is simply check the output state of the tilt switch whether it is high or low based on that the LED will turn on or turn off and the second project we will see where we will implement the magic cup effect when the module is tilted the LED will fade out and when the module is reverted to its original position the LED will fade in. We will see both this project one by one but first let us look out at the project prototype. So this is our prototype here. We have connected the 5 volt and ground pin to the G pin and the plus pin of the module S pin at the pin number 8 and L pin at pin number 9. The pin number 9 is high now so this LED is glowing. If I bring the tilt sensor closer to you, you can see the mercury blob moving. And this mercury blob opens or closes the tilt switch. You can see I suppose. So with this tilt switch, we will see our next two practical demonstrations. Now let us first look at the Arduino sketch for the first program. This is the Arduino sketch 
for the basic application of this module where we will see the output state of the tilt switch whether it is high or low the entire sketch is commented so it will not be a problem for you to understand but still if there is any confusion please feel free to ask me in the comment we will now upload the sketch into the arduino and see the output now since the switch is in open position the output of this module is high so the led is glowing now if we tilt the module the mercury closes the switch and the output becomes low and this led turns low we tilt it to the left the mercury switch opens the led goes high we tilt it right the mercury switch closes this led turns off so this is the simple application now we will see in the arduino serial monitor the status of this switch so we are splitting the screen half and half you see the mercury switch is open so it's showing the sensor status 1 now the mercury switch closes the sensor status 0 the mercury position is open now so the sensor status is 1 in the serial monitor now if we tilt it the mercury switch is in closed position and the sensor status is low or 0 now you see so this is the first and simple demonstration now we will see how this led fades in and fades out when we tilt the sensor so for that first have a look at the arduino sketch this is the arduino sketch for our second example where we have implemented the fade in and fade out effect of the led when the mercury tilt sensor is tilted or kept straight this sketch is also well commented so i don't think there is any need of explaining the code it is self-explanatory we have first taken a few variables and then if the button state is low and last button state is high we have decreased the brightness of the led and if the button state is high and last button state is low we have increased the brightness of the led so this is the basic operation of this arduino sketch now we will upload the sketch into the arduino and we will see the output the sketch is uploaded into the arduino now we will see the output of this module so this is now in the open position the led brightness is full now if we tilt the sensor you see the led will gradually fade out giving the illustration of emptying a cup now if we tilt it back it will gradually fade in again giving the realization of filling a cup see once again we are tilting it it's fading out we are turning it straight it's fading in So the application is very simple. We can use two of these modules to bring an effect like while fading out one LED, the other modules LED will fade in. I do not have two of these modules, so I cannot show you the effect in real time, but I am giving you just the idea of it. When it is fading out, we can fade in the other module. And again, when the other module is fading out, we can fade this in. So that will give us an impact of emptying and filling two cups this looks like a magic so this is called the magic cup sensor module now i hope you do not have any confusion about these modules if you still have any query or question please feel free to ask me in the comments i'll definitely try to answer your questions today up to this we will meet again in a new video if you like our today's video please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe my channel arginovations thank you for watching have a nice time bye bye